The war in Ukraine is inflicting havoc on the global economy. Turkey, which has close economic and trade ties with both warring nations, is feeling the strain. The cost of food and fuel has skyrocketed. The national currency is still under pressure after several significant losses in recent months. In Istanbul's Laleli district, the shops, which are usually bustling with international traders and tourists, are much quieter. We had a lot of customers from Russia and Ukraine. We used to do very good business with them. But after the war, things got worse. The textile industry, which is a vital part of Turkey's economy, is particularly at risk. Industry representatives say Ukrainian and Russian traders cancelled more than 200 million US dollars in textile and leather orders in the early weeks of the war. Turkey's trade with other European countries such as Belarus, Moldova and Romania, as well as Central Asian countries like Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, has also been affected by the Ukrainian crisis. Commodity sellers such as gold merchants are also suffering. Russians and Ukrainians made up 70% of our customers. Because of the war, Ukrainians are no longer coming. After all, they're leaving their lands. The Russians also stopped coming because of the rubles depreciation. We lost 70% of our sales. Meanwhile, refugees from Ukraine continue to flow into the country. According to Turkey's interior ministry, nearly 60,000 Ukrainians have sought refuge in the country so far, while thousands of Russians have also entered Turkey since the conflict began. That has pushed up the cost of housing. Our countrymen are feeling the rise in prices. It used to be possible to find a rental apartment for $100 to $150 a month, but now it is $300 to $400. With no end to the conflict in sight, Turkish business industry watchers are pessimistic. Whether the war continues or not, the coming months will be difficult. Even if they say the war is over, given the devastation of Ukraine and the collapse of the Russian economy, the effects will continue for many years to come. Behzad Muhammadi, VOA News, Istanbul, Turkey.